What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. Today we have this 2023 Ford Raptor and today we are going to program an additional key for this truck. So as you can see, this key is not programmed. And this one right here, well, it's the original one. The original one as you can see. So a lot of people were asking me how, could, how can you program these keys uh, using the Autel? Well, we have to actually use the software from the dealership. So this is the software that the dealership uses and we have to have a valid subscription um, the only way to you get the subscription is by going to motorcraft service and you gotta create an account motorcraft service right here let me show you real quick you gotta sign in and create an account and also you gotta pay fifty dollars which they let you program and do a lot of things for three days so if we go to login it will take you to the login page so this is the login page and i blurred this because it's sensitive information so you gotta sign in but before doing that you gotta go to uh software and you gotta buy the uh, subscription which is 50 dollars. i'll show you in a little bit so you go there, scroll down, and you're gonna see the licenses right here for two days. So you click on it, and it will take you to this website. You gotta create an account too here. So you're gonna need two accounts. Once you get that done, you gotta download the uh, FDRS, install it, and it will take you to this. But before that, you gotta uh, sign in into your account. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the ignition right now. And let's just, let me just go right here really quick. I gotta select my correct VCI. All right, so we're gonna have switch to other device. So it's gonna be other. And here you're gonna select the one you have. I have the VCI, this one. So. Once I click it, it should go on. Come on. It should uh, actually I selected the wrong one, so it's actually BCI. Hold on, JBCI. This one. So there we go. As you can see, it's already selected. We're gonna open the switch for this and gonna turn the air conditioning off. So we're gonna run the bin number for this car. We're gonna red bin. <clears throat> so with this tool you can actually do all keys lost, but we're gonna program this additional key. And you may wonder where the key slot for this truck is. Well, it's actually right here. You gotta take this uh, cup cover, and then you're gonna insert a key you want to program in there. And as you can see, it's downloading the file. Uh, I've seen people that if you have two keys, you can add an additional one. But if you don't have two keys, well, you just you gotta take it to the dealership, or you have to use the dealership software. So let me just uh, wait for for the download. It's gonna give me all the options right here, and I just gotta wait a little bit more. I'm gonna wait a little bit more. All right, people, so as you can see, we have all these options right here. As you can see, this is the vehicle. And well, we are going to choose uh, the BCM, which is where you uh, it's a store, all of it. So we're just gonna go and continue right here. We're gonna uh, press continue. Come on, buddy, come to module. It's that one, we're gonna press continue. And here we're gonna run. Here you have the options. Uh, you have the updates and all that, but we're gonna run the options, which is uh, we should see it right here. Keys. Let me just find it really quick. Oh, it should be right here. Come on, factory keyless programmable module. Remote entry. Remote keyless entry. Okay, it's not that one. Factory code. Remote keyless transmitter programming. So it's this one right here. This application allows you for the programming of remote key fobs for police vehicles. 
but we're just gonna click OK. We're gonna download it. And as you can see, I have already the key that I want to program in the cup holder. So it's gonna run that option, run. And it will take you to another section. It's gonna load and we're gonna program a key fob. So we're gonna select program key fob and turn ignition switch on, which is already on. We're gonna press okay. And it says, select the desired key for programming location. It says FOB1 not program. So I'm gonna select uh, just the first one. Well, actually the last one. So we're gonna press four. Careful and tip the key for data label on the packet. All right, so we're just gonna get this one, which is right here. It's 48 digits. All right, so I was a little bit wrong. Uh, you don't have to select the body control module. You have to actually select passive anti theft system, just like the old style. We're gonna run it, and let's just wait. Okay, so we're gonna open the switch. It's gonna wait for the application to run, and then you need a NAST username and password. Non-dealer uses of must be automotive security professionals. That require that are registered with the National Automotive Service Task Force Vehicle Security Professionals. You must have a valid username and password for this to complete. All right, so right now we're gonna program the key and well, you need actually access. As you can see, password has been verified and it's locked in. So now we have the keys and we're gonna put the key that we want to program into the programming slot, which is that one right there. Let me just take the key out of the bag. All right, so the key's right here. I'm gonna put it in there. We're gonna open the switch, uh, but before that, let's just uh, do the, uh, let's wait for the FDRS to log in into the server and uh, to give us access to program the key, all right? People, so we are already here and let me just go to where I had the TEF deterrent. Let me just find it. PCM. What is it? PCM. PCM. Passive anti theft anti theft programming. So we're gonna download that because we want to program the anti theft. So we're gonna run that one, and now we should have access to the PATS immobilizer data. Come on. And we just want to program a key. We're gonna press this one. We have the key already in the slot. We're gonna press OK. Place the key to be programmed into, back into the receiver, which is already in there. We press it. Vamos a programar un, un control para una 2023 for Raptor. Y para esto, pues necesitan, como pueden ver, ya programó la llave. So, as you can see, the key has, a, has, pro, has been programmed already. It, it didn't even take like 30 minutes. Now, not even 10 minutes. It was hella quick. So we're gonna exit. And yes, we finished the application. So now we're gonna test our new key. Let's just test it really quick. And there we go. There we go. It's working. All right, guys. So this will be pretty much the end of the video. This is how you program. A new key for a 2023-24 and up for Raptor. Uh, the only way to do it is if you're a member of the dealership or have special access to the software. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do it unless you have a NAST uh, account, which is for the locksmith. It's like a society where they give you credentials and security access for all this, but you need to pay, obviously. Well, this will be pretty much the end of the video, guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Comment down below. Turn notifications on. And I'll see you on the next episode. JB Fix out, guys. Bye.